this is designed to help you kind of practice in what's going to be much more of a real world scenario how you might use map and filter to kind of iterate through much more realistically structured data. Let's go ahead and here's my first challenge to you. What I want you to do is to call map on your shapes array. And of course, I'm one with the typos. The typos are with me. All right, now that we've got that good to go, uh, the next thing I want you to do after call map on your shapes array is I want you to return a new array of shape names. So I want you to call map on your shapes array, store the result in a new array, and that new array should contain just the strings of each, a, uh, it should be an array of the names of each shape in our shape array. So go ahead and take a moment, give it a shot, and in the next video, We'll take a look at the solution.